this is Taylor with Finmetrica. Today I'm going to show you how to test for free SO2 using either your SC100A or your SC300 in SO2 mode. Today we'll be using our SC300. To test for free SO2, you will need your three SO2 reagents, your titration beaker for your wine sample, your 25 mil pipette, which you use to get your wine sample, a five mil syringe, and two three mil transfer pipettes. After collecting a 25 mil wine sample, we are now ready to run the test. You will need to add two mils of your SO2 reactant and two mils of your SO2 acid solution. This is the equivalent of about a thorough bulb squeeze of these pipettes. Or you can use the lines on the transfer pipettes themselves. Squirt two mils into there. Always make sure to recap your reagents when you're done. Again, two mils. Now, if you're using the syringe and your SO2 titrant, you'll use the syringe to suck up some SO2 titrant and you'll run the test in your hand. You'll insert the SO2 electrode into your wine sample and titrate using your syringe while constantly swirling the sample. Today, we have access to the Pro Kit setup, so we'll be doing it a little bit differently, but this Pro Kit setup will make it much easier to run the test. I'm now ready to run the test. So I'll put my magnetic stir bar in the wine sample, get this set up and make sure the solution is stirring. My units read zero, which is good. I'm ready, that means I'm ready to run the test. I've made a note of my starting volume on my burette, which is zero. And I'll want to record the final volume once I've completed the titration. Now, drop by drop, I will add SO2 titrant into my wine sample. So now I've reached my endpoint and I need to count 20 consecutive beeps and that means I have finished the test. I've counted 20. I'm done. I can turn off my magnetic stirrer, remove the wine sample from the SO2 electrode and I will make a note of the volume I've used during this test. So the burette is now reading 0.5 mils. To calculate the parts per million of SO2 in your wine sample, you'll use a simple algebraic equation. You take your final volume, subtract it from your initial volume, which comes to 0.5 mils. Take that value, multiply it by 20, This wine sample has 10 parts per million of free SO2. And that's it.